I want you to subscribe, share, and like this video. Thank you. Alright, awesome. my name is Kim Prince, and I'm back again with a new video. Okay, so this is about Stoneboy, the Beam Nation president. <laughs> you know, I was on Stoneboy's page and I saw a video of him sharing some of the things, I mean, the problems and the issues that he's having in the Ghana music industry as a musician. And I think it is worth listening in the bar because, you know, um, as a human being, we live to learn. And especially some of us who just started our journey as well as a media personality, you know, there are some certain things that we are supposed to know from our gatekeepers. You get it. So without wasting my time, let's listen to Stone Boy and some of the things that he, he said in a video. Let's go. So, you know, like, we're living in a world right now where love is not really real in the sense that everybody's looking out for themselves to an extent where they don't give a what they do to others to get to where they gotta be at very very true very very true you know people are preaching about love all the time but these are the same people are they wouldn't mind doing bad things to you eh? and they say we are saying no <laughs> even your friend or your, your relative they can admit that they love you but at the same time they can do bad things to you without thinking about what's going to happen to you or without thinking about how you're going to feel so they can say you have to watch your back Yes, I'm not saying that don't love your, your friends, don't love your, uh, your your relatives, but, bro, be careful. You know, and, yeah, it's like you have to, you have to grow to experience it. Like, when I was a kid, I wouldn't really know all these things by, by hand. You would have to grow to experience that. Sometimes they talk about love, but it's not really like that. Have you seen that? Very true. <laughs> Charlie, your mind is speak fat though. And looking at her, uh, uh, looking at everything you know, be like, say, I share and swatch it. And also, ready. Okay. You get it. So let's continue. Sometimes they talk about money, but they're not rich like that because you wonder, like, the richest of the richest cannot really give, like, somebody who doesn't even have it. Like, those who don't have it, like, are able to give you freely than those who have it take it more so you don't know bringing it back to the point where in the industry I see a lot of people lying about things that they don't even have bro and they're capping they're just trying to make somebody else's progress feel shattered down or feel like incomplete whilst they lie about their shit and you realize um, you know, your man is making a point about you because Charlie Devin Castle um, Believe whatever you see on the internet at your own risk. I'm not saying that uh, we have fake stories on the internet And I said be a man for uh, a, a blog about fake stuff But Charlie get to know that there are some people that they wouldn't mind doing anything for clouds Or my post I saw Instagram Facebook just to make people I say I don't know so, like I said, don't be moved by some of the things that you see on the internet. Charlie, you have a tray. Now, I'm going to say, hey, you have a chance to run. You have Oh, I'm going to talk a few and snowboard. Oh, I just bought my, my new uh, Lamborghini, my new car, my new Benz and snowboard. The pressure, who knows? Those who have stuff, they don't say nothing or they say the least, you know? That's what MC Barrow makes the most noise. But but they can't see my back because they wonder how I do it from the streets of Ashaiman to the topmost festivals in the world as a dancer, reggae artist, an Afrobeat artist, definitely. Your mind to the ED, he asked you forget the way. Right now, you go to a car and you change your asset. Artist, artist. <laughs> you know, because I come from the soil, that's why you hear me say Afro dancer. I've done stuff that my generation is going to be proud of. Building it upon the stuff that people have done, that I've gotten inspired from. You know? And I mean, like, these fake things over there that they're doing. Like, there's so much competition and they try to 
you, you see a lot of people gather up with a common interest because they hate you differently you know so they form that friendship out of the fact that they dislike you and that friendship is gonna fall that friendship is gonna hold fall you get it so that's what stone boy addresses some of the things that he's going through or some of the challenges and the problems that he's facing in the ghana music industry and like i said it was what worth listening i hope you learned something i hope you learned something because like me i did i learned a lot though it was short but there are some certain things i've gotten to what know you get it and coming from what our gatekeepers we have to what keep it in mind yeah they yeah found out because I just started my career as what a media personality. So there are some certain things I'm supposed to want to know. You didn't get it? Alright. So uh, that's too much for you. I'll be back again with another video. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. And yes, content will go bust your mind. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want you to subscribe, share, like, and leave a comment in the section below. Thank you.